we serve together, we continue the story in the new things we do. Now, Luke can be a bit idealistic and nostalgic. The first century church was not quite as utopian as Luke presents sometimes. Yet through the divisions, through the tensions, through the sorting out, God's story continues and will continue in the spirit through us and sometimes in spite of us. When nothing existed but chaos, you swept across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water. After the flood, you set in the clouds a rainbow. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land which you promised. And in the fullness of time, you sent Jesus nurtured in the water of a womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Continuity and renewal in the spirit. What shall we do? Remember who we belong to. Constituted by the Holy Spirit and continuing Christ's work in the world.